Hello, test mic. One, two, one, two, test mic. Hello. This is test mic. Let's try to see. Check. Optimism is a madness of insisting that all is well when we are miserable. Bulls here. Alright, good morning once again to my uh, grade 8 uh, science class. Uh, today we'll be continuing with a lesson that we I decided to you know, to divide into two parts. Uh, we have the Mendelian genetics uh, talking about the, the law of dominance in the first part. And today we'll be talking about the last two laws, which are the laws of uh, segregation and the laws of independent assortment. Now, uh, last time, uh, if you have tried answering your Kuiper activities, it's really, it's really very hard for me to create an activity where it needs to be done through solving and with your solution sh to be shown. However, we can find ways to try to incorporate that one in Kuiper and uh, answer them. So, um, this will be the second to the last lesson for uh, the fourth quarter. No, so. Today is Friday, um, that would be May 8th at around 11.47 in the morning. So uh, we'll be continuing with the lesson and I think the next lesson will be either on Sunday or maybe early by next week. And by then, afterwards, no, for those who are com uh, who have completed their activities, no, they, uh, they can be, uh, grades can be computed right away. Now, <clears throat> we'll be using the DepEd uh, record no a uh, style of recording in terms of the fourth quarter uh the the one two three the f your first quarter second quarter and third quarter lesson uh will be kind of will be uh, staying the same with the old record however we're using the depth ed record for the fourth quarter to compute your grades now then again it's uh this is the second to the last one so we'll be having the last one by next week and i hope that you can uh, finish all the things that i've uh, sent to you um since uh, day one of the fourth quarter now just to give you a heads up you have uh, 12 topics that we have uh, that i have listed no in terms of how i delivered it 12 topics and all of them uh, most of them except one no has no video but uh, all of them have videos that if you don't understand any anything uh we have videos uh, that I sent in my channel. No, I, I've uploaded my channel for you to understand more about the topic. If not, you can PM me, private message me through Facebook or even through your Creeper accounts. Uh, you can send messages there the, for me to be able to cater to you and uh, see what seems to be the problem. That especially, uh, I'm open to that one. So, wag mahiya, no, wag mahiyang magtanong. All right. So today we'll be having. A kind of more complex uh, problem solving compared to the one that we have before no uh, if you can still remember uh, we did Punnett squaring of only four squares that are blank in the middle but today we'll be having something more than four and let's try to see if how, how I can deliver this one well no and for you to be able to understand um, last time the, the last video before this one has a very poor uh, audio is because i thought that i i was able to set up my microphone however it was using the microphone of the laptop which is actually a very poor type of microphone it's the reason why the previous video before this one is really very echoey so i hope that this one is an improvement of fun so let's dive right in no so let's have a recap of what we had last time for tawag na to. for uh the law of dominance so it says here they have your law of dominance states that the heterozygous individual only one allele will be expressed and one will be masked so when you talk about your dominant law of dominance it's actually uh, there are two things that are related to it we have uh, your dominant allele and your recessive allele 
Now, it's always that the dominant alil always overpowers or is always being expressed. Meaning, pag-express, sila yung nakikita natin sa physicality ng tao na. So, sabihin natin pag maputi yung tao, tapos dominant yung gene na yun, syempre, kahit may dugo siyang itim, talagang puti yung lalabas sa kanya. That's the law of dominance. Alright? So, we have the one that is being masked, she's your recessive, and the one that is overpowering the recessive is your dominant. Excuse me. Alright, so let's go to the next ones, no? Um, if you guys remember, we have discussed this ones. And this ones, no? Yung, I, I sent this one as an attachment in the la latest, uh, uh, what do you call this one? The latest activity that I sent to you. Uh, this is how you get to see the difference between your genotype and your phenotype. So don't... Uh, forget that when you talk about your genotype it's the letters no how you write the letters in your phenotype it's how you express or how you interpret these letters ano ba meaning ng capital t small t ano ba meaning ng uh, small t small t ano ba meaning na capital t capital t so eto pag letters lang those are your genotypes however when you talk about the interpretation of those letters by the dictated by the genotype no it's now what you call your phenotype so phenotype kasi yung physical na katangian nung nakasulat na mga letters, right? So as we continue more, I have made this is actually ano? This is actually my own uh, steps that I've added here in the Kuiper activity. So, eto tapos we have now what you call your law of segregation, which is the number two law. Though this this laws that we have right here is actually not numbered, ha? Hindi parehas ng law of interaction by Isaac Newton that we learned in the first quarter. Right, so when you talk about your law of segregation, uh, monohybrid cross involves two individuals with contrasting traits. This is the one that we did, no? Having the four squares that we did before, so monohybrid po yung ginawa natin. So iko cross cross lang natin yon, gamit ang panet square na sinasabi nila, depending on what you're going to write on this uh, purple area and this yellow area. Kasi depende naman yan kung paano natin ma determine yung parents. Kung na-determine natin yung parent sa taas, so sabi dito kasi, ito daw yung si parent number 1, ito si parent number 2. So, ito yung posible nilang mga anak na sa gitna, yung puti na apat na mga squares doon. Alright, so, how do we interpret that one? A capital T and a small t is tall. Ganon. So, again, no, it's not, we're not closing the, the letters to only this uh, type, this mga letters, no? We can assign any letters here, even X, Y, Z, A, B, C, all of the al alphabets. All of the letters in the alphabet. So, pwede yun, no? So, ano bang gagawin una? Ito yung mga gagawin, basahin nyo na lang, ano? So, ito yung second example natin, no? Using now, this time, short. Kung pandak ba or matangkad. So, ginamamit tayo ng letter S. Capital S is for short and small s is for tall. So, yun. Tapos, ito yung nakita natin. Ayun. So, the test cross is performed to determine the genotype of the individual with a trait that is dominant. We have a purple flower here. Ito, bakit kamali itong nasulat dito? Dapat may kasama itong long capital letter P sa kabila. No? Dito sa Edkwan Gilid. So, yun na nga. However, don't worry, um, it's not the type of example that I'm using, alright? The concerned individual is crossed to one with a trait that is recessive. Anyway, it makes you, mag mas magugulo, maguluhan kayo dito. So, the person behind the panet squaring and trying to, no, trying to predict the, the possibility of pe ha parents having this one and their offspring, no, kung ano itsura ng offspring nila is done by, is uh, devised by uh, Reginald Panet, no? Kaya tinawag nating Panet Square is because of, no? came from a family name of the one who devised it. Now, we have what you call your law of segregation. The law of segregation states that two alleles of a gene separates from each other to be contained in separate gametes. These alleles will unite randomly during fertilization. Now, sabi nga dito, no? if makikita natin dito, let's make this one a, bit, a bigger one. So I'm doing this one live because I'm also teaching this one live. No, uh, it's just like as if I'm in the classroom. However, namimis ko lang talaga sa classroom yung ingay nyo, yung hindi nakikinig, yung 
yung merong magtatanong those different types kaya ayun no so sabi dito kate right so sabi dito kay kwan no meron tong individuality or gene separate from each other to be contained in a separate gametes this cells will unite randomly during fertilization all right so it says here no ato mga gametes ng parents or origin ato kwan no sa ito ito yung parental generation so meron sila mga gamit sa different letters so each homo homozygous parents in the p generation produces only one kind of gamit so isa lang makikita natin dito capital and capital y so pwede natin sabihin na capital y no ito a small y small y pwede natin sabihin na siya yung small letter y however pag ipapa-cross natin ito during those times no The heterozygous F1 offspring produces two kinds of gametes. Until such time na mapupunta po dito sa pinakababa, na makikita natin combination na sila sa lahat. So, then again, no, parental generation, first filial generation, you have your second filial generation. Dito sa first parental generation, talagang hybrid ito. Walang magkakamukha doon sa, I think, meron or wala. Pero, okay. Yun na yung point, no? When you talk about this one, you have your Y and Y, tapos makukuha dito, no? Magdodominate si si capital Y, kaya dito. However, meron pa rin siyang dinadala na green. So, nagka, nagka, dito, nag-join, tapos dito naman ulit nag-separate. And after separating here, if you're going to cross them once again, and meron na namang separation during those times. So, yun yung tinatawa, sinasabi ng law of segregation. Now, for you to be able to understand more of the Love segregation, yun na nga, ginagamit natin is monohybrid crossing. So, dito, no? During the love segregation, during gametogenesis, if you can still remember the term gametogenesis, this is the the formation or the creation of your gametes, no? For males, you have your your spermatogenesis, and for the females, you have your oogenesis. So, depende, no? Each gamete has then equal chances of obtained by a gamete. So, ito A and B, no? Tapos, na crossing crossing over ito na yung combination combination dito tapos afterwards meron ding uling combination for a genotype A capital A small a the allel capital A and a small a will be distributed in each gamete makita natin na no may crossing over na nangyari dito meron tayong capital and capital A which is more dominant yung blue area However, meron din tayong ditong small a and small a small a ito naman yung konti lang yung blue area pero mas marami yung yellow area So, kung sabihin natin yung blue is matangkad at saka yung yellow is actually yung pandak na jean, makikita natin dito pag nag-cross na ito, na itong A dito, pure na matangkad. Ito namang A dito ulit, since mas marami yung blue kasi yellow, ma-overpower niya kasi dominant ngayon, so matangkad pa rin ito. Ito, meron siyang matangkad na jean, pero problema, mas mahaba yung pandak na jean. So, itong dito isa pandak, tapos yung pinakalas wala talagang blue. So, totally pure na pandak ito. So, ganun lang po yung law of segregation. Nagsasegregate mamaya. No? Parehas nung, for example, ano bang meaning na segregation? No? So, meron kang mga different kinds of vegetables. So, kailangan mong isegregate sila para magpaparehas-parehas sila. So, pagdating ng mga trucks sa trading post, so, separate mo lahat ng mga wumbok dito, lahat ng mga uh, Lettuce dito, lahat ng mga rumin dito. So, isegregate mo. Ano? So, parang ganun din yung nangyayari dito. Alright. We have also the other law, which is what you call your law of independent assortment. When you talk about your assortment naman, um, alam mo yung mga assorted na mga different, kwa, no? mga assorted na mga biscuit. Alright. Kasi usually yung mga biscuit natin, pag bumili ka ng skyflakes, lahat yung skyflakes. Pero kung matandaan mo, Uh, there is that one that we get to buy in the groceries wherein yung isang balde isang timba nung uh, isang timba nung biskwit na combination na, na merong mari, merong cookies, merong grahams, merong ganun. Yung 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 sinasabi nilang biskwit na panlamay. You get to see that it's actually assorted. Now here, no? It says here that in the law of independent assort assortment It states that the inheritance of one allele pair is independent from the other allele pairs. Hindi po nakadepende kung ano yung isa na dinictate, eh yun din yung madidictate sa isa. Meron silang independence. No, makikita natin ngayon, this is the one that I'm telling you, that the previous Punnett square is actually having only four boxes just like this one. 
Alright, let's try to see. Ito, oh, 4 boxes lang. So, malalaman natin, no, ng chance ng mga, uh, tawag natin, chance ng mga offspring nila, only using 4 boxes. But this time, in the law of independent assortment, nakita natin that this box right now, is actually 16 squares. This is a planet square of 16 boxes inside. No? So, Seed shape and seed color in peas are inherited independently. Dito po kasi sa independent assortment, hindi lang isa na trait yung ikukross natin. ba last time, sabi, sinabi ko, oh, pandak at saka matangkad. So, yung trait na yun, height lang. Alright? Height lang yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, pwede lang ng apat na square. Pero paano pag sabi natin, matangkad na maputi at saka pandak na maitim. Oh, yun yung parents. Ah, matangkad na maputi tapos pandak na maitim. All right? So, we heard we're talking about two traits there because yung pandak at matangkad, it talks about your height which is the first trait. And we have also the white and the maitim which is the skin color which is na number two trait. Kaya i-combine natin yung dalawang trait we have na what you call by using it, no? In a 16 box Panit square. Alright? Meron tayong tinatawag dyan na this time, kung yung isa is, yung apat na square is what you call your monohybrid cross. Because of the word monohybrid, mono, isa lang, isang trait lang. So when you talk about flower color, red and white, it's just one trait. When you talk about height, tall and short, alright, it's just one trait. If you talk about body size like fat and thin, it's just one trait. However, in a dihybrid cross, two pairs na... Uh, two pairs na two two traits lang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Kaya in this case no makikita natin sa example nito, pinagsama nila ang seed shape at seed color. When you talk about seed shape dito, no? Pinag-usapan nila yung round at saka yung wrinkled. At the same time, pinag-usapan din nila yung seed color na merong yellow at merong green. So pinagsama yung dalawang traits. So we talk about seed color and seed shape in one punnet square. The cross will show that the two characteristics are inherited independently. Alright? So, iba dito sa first, it, iba sa second, iba sa third, iba sa fourth, and iba sa fifth. This is a more complicated one, no, that I not decided to use the the whiteboard because first, wala na akong whiteboard ink, and second, hindi po kakasya dyan ang 16 box punnet square na baka ang liit-liit na makita nyo pag pinel, nilapit ko sa video. So, follow this one, no? And the, the one that I'll be making later on here in this, uh, what you call this one, uh, sa itong uh, video nito. So, demonstrate ko lang by, uh, by, by trying to type it here in the slides, no? So, follow me with this one and just hold it up, no? Kasi medyo komplikado na to. So, I'll just make this one kinda slow. I don't want to make a very long video because I believe that you don't finish all the videos that I, I, I'm sending you. you know, some others are actually not all, not not anymore watching the video. I'm just uh, trying to assume and understanding, you know, trying to just read the study guide, which is not enough. Let's try. Continue some more. So, ayun na nga po. Na ulit. Pumunta tayo dito, no? Sa law of independent assortment. Alright? Let's not talk about this one because I'll be having an example for this one. Alright? Uh, so, yun. Punta tayo sa isang example. Paano ba natin gagamitin yung independent assortment? Wait lang. Ta, medyo naghang yung PowerPoint ko. Alright. Tignan natin kung may Alright. Yun. So, nag-save nag siya. Punta tayo sa isang example. Actually, itong example ni Kuiper ay medyo madali compared kung ako to ginawa ko ito during sa, sa classroom setting, no? He said, let's say for example, you have a pea plant with a purple flower and yellow seed with a genotype of letter P, capital, and small P, and capital Y, and small Y. You also have a pea plant with a purple flower 
and green seed with a genotype of capital P and small p. Take note that the purple flower is dominant over the white flower. And the yellow seed is dominant over the green seed using dihybrid test cross. What are the genotype combinations? So, ito yung mga question. Genotype combinations of the offspring and what are the possible flower and seed color phenotype of the uh, offspring? So, una, tinatanong yung genotype. Next, ano yung phenotype? Now, tanong nyo, sir, saan nila kinuha itong mga letters? Alright. And ito, na? Whenever... You start with this one, no? Dapat kasi, no? You assign letter. P is equals to, anong ginamit dito na terms? Alright, purple. Capital P is for purple kasi sabi nga daw, ito yung dominant. Then, small letter P is for white. Alright? Tapos, anong ginamit naman na ibang letter? Uh, purple, flower. So, flower color pa lang pinag-usapan nito at saka flower color. Tapos, yun namang Y. Capital Y is yellow seed. Tapos, yung small letter Y is anong tawag? Green seed ata yung ginamit dito. So, on the spot ko pong in-answer ito ah. So, follow ah. Just follow with me. So, this is how I do it. So, para mas intindihan natin. Green seed. Alright, baba natin para mas kits. No? So, yun yung ginamit. Chan. Kung ako pa, ang gumawa ng problem na ito, no? Mas complicated actually yung gagawin kung pagtanong in terms of the parent. But in this case, binigay na yung parent. Ito yung parent number one. Alright, so highlight natin. Um, hindi parang hindi na siya wise kung pinahirapan ko pa sa inyo to kasi this is true online. So, ito yung parent number 1 and this is parent number 2. Right? Nung let uh, kulay green na lang. All right. Uh, so, ito yung parent number 2. Sabi kasi dito purple flower and this letter capital P and small p will tell you that since P capital is purple and the other one is small which is recessive syempre ito purple kaya nga sabi dito purple flower this one alright color code na lang kaya natin this one dictates this part of the parent alright this one is being dictated by this one, yellow seed and ito namang capital Y and small y will tell you this is a yellow seed obviously it's a yellow seed alright tapos sabi naman sa second flower you also have a pea plant with a purple flower purple ulit, which then is represented by your capital P and small, uh, capital P and capital P so purple pa rin yun huh? so yun, ganun natin, tapos green seed kasi nga dominant si yellow, which is your capital Y. So, therefore, ang maliit na Y, dalawa, is actually your green seed. Ano mong magandang kulay dito? Mm, ito na lang. Alright. So, magita natin. So, this one corresponds to this one, that one corresponds to this one. That's how you identify, no? Kita ba? Alright. I hope makita. Baba ko na lang konti. Alright? This is how you first, if you're going to answer problems, this, you need to know first the parents. Minsan kasi, sabihin lang nila na purple flower ganito, and just add there if heterozygous or homozygous. In this case, no, this is, Capital P and small p will tell you that this is a heterozygous fla purple flower. You have here a capital Y and a small y. This will tell you that this is a heterozygous yellow seed. You have here also the second parent, no, which is a capital P and capital P. This is a homozygous purple flower. And we have a small y and a small y. This will tell you that this is a homozygous green seed. No? So, homo, 
pagtabi nating homozygous, no? Either capital and capital or small and small. Hindi pwedeng combination. Pagtabi nating uh, heterozygous, dapat hindi sila magkaparehas. Isang capital at isang small. So, nalaman na natin yung parent. It, yun yung first natin gagawin. But before going there, alam natin na ito yung ginamit or inassign na mga letters. So, capital P is purple, capital a small p is white, capital Y is yellow, blah, blah, blah. So, punta tayo sa steps na ginawa ni Kuiper. Try natin kung uh, maintindihan ba natin. If not, I'm going to make one. So, identify the genotypes of the parents. Now, you have this one. Which is your parent number one. Yung nabigay dito. Ito na yun sila. Na? Ito. Na? This one and this one. Ito na yun sila which is this one and that one. Alright? So, tapos, step 2, determine the gametes. This is done by combining P and Y of each parent to represent sperm and egg. This process is similar to the FOIL method that you learn from math. Actually, hindi ko pa nabasa ito, pero yes. Kung alam nyo yung FOIL method, gagawin natin is, with this parent here, we need to combine them by having these ones through a FOIL method. Sir, paano nyo nakuha itong P, capital Y? Ah, capital P, capital Y, capital P, small Y. Paano nyo nakuha yan? Ito yung isa nagpapakomplikado sa dihybrid cross. When you talk about dihybrid cross this time, is combination of, kasi the word di means two. So, dalawang trait. So, we're talking about here about your uh, flower color and your seed color. So, let's try to do a foil method this time. Your foil, F-O-I-L, stands for First, outer, inner, last. So when you talk about your first, we have four variables here. In this case, let's consider this one variable. So we have one, two, three, four, and the two quantities. Itos they are separated by what you call your parentheses. Now you have the first term here, which is also the first term there. Combine them here. First, kaya nga yung first. So, after nagawa mo yung first, anong resulta? Oh, anong resulta dyan? Tapos, yung outer naman. So, outer, this one first, no? yung pinakalalabas na part ng ito. So, outer. Ano kaya naman? Pag-combine mo ito at yan. Alright? In this case, ano kaya? Oh. Inner naman. Pag inner, yung gitna sa loob. So, this one and this one, combine them together. Itong dalawa, itong 7 and X, ano? So, question mark natin. And lastly, we have your last. So, yung last ng first quantity and last ng second quantity, this one and this one, no? yun yung gagawin mo. I-combine mo sila. So, ano kaya? Though in math, we need to solve this one. In this uh, activity we have, no? I've made uh, the kwanyo, tawag nito, uh, pag pesensya no yung ginawa ko. No? So, alam natin, na the one that we have here, no, meron tayong apat, one, two, three, four, is the same as the one we have for your, no, yung sa dihybrid cross natin, yung, yung characteristic ng isang parent. So, isang parent lang muna. No, so, we have two parents here. Let's go back, no. Ito muna. Ito muna ang gagawin natin. No? Tapos, mamaya, gawan, gawan naman natin ng ito. So, ito na. So, we have this one. So, anong gagawin? First, sa first, yung first term dito at first term dito. So, we have here and here. So, we can say, if you're going to combine them, we have capital P and capital Y. Yung first, ito, first. Tapos, anong next? Sabi dito, outer. So, pag outer, extend ko lang ito. Ito yung outer. Yung pinakauna dito at pinakadulo dito. Yung pinakalabas. So, ano yan? We have a capital P and a Capital P and a small y. Tapos, sabi naman, inner. Si inner naman, pag-uusapan natin yung loob. Alright, so that would be this one and this one. So, this one, you have here a capital A, small p and capital Y. So, small p and capital Y. And lastly, you have your last. So, yung last ng first quantity and last doon, no? Ito, last. Yan. So, meron tayong, ano yan, small p and small y. So, ito na po yung parent ng first. Ah, ito na po yung combination ng first parent. Alright? So, tingnan natin. So, yun na nga, sabi dito, you have your, ito na yung mga 
nagawa natin. So, paano natin nakuha natin ito is by using a FOIL method. Alright? So, let's I'll, I'll make another one. no? However, let's get to change the one that we have here. So, let's go to the second parent. Solve them natin. So, sa second parent, we have a capital P and capital P and a small y and a small y. So, let's just change this one. Capital P and capital P. Tapos, small y and small y. Tapos, tanggalin natin ito. Solve natin ulit. Alright, so, let's go first with the equal first, no? So, ito muna si first. Alright, yan, si first. So, we have a capital P and small y. Capital P and small y. Tapos, anong outer? So, outer, let's just get to extend this one. So, ito at saka itong nasa dulo. Pinakauna at pinakadulo, we have your capital P and small y again. Tapos, meron tayo na namang nasa inner. So, inner, yung nasa loob, ito at saka this one. So, ano yan? Capital P and small y. And lastly, the first term here and the last term there. So, move lang natin ito. Going there. So, we have another again. Capital P and small y. Makita natin lahat ng combinations is capital P and small y. Is it the same as the one given by Kuiper? Yes, it is. So, we have your capital P, small y, capital P, small y. Lahat ng apat na yon. So, ngayon, na-solve na natin yung pan, no? Yung Ah, uh, combinations ngayon ng parents. Dapat ganito ah, hindi siya ganito. So, parent muna, alamin natin yung genotype niya ng parent 1, parent 2. Afterwards, we do your FOIL method and we have the results. So, don't forget the results. We have this one for the parent 1 and parent 2. Afterwards, ang gawin natin, eto, test cross natin. Pero, eh, saka tayo pumunta, pumunta dyan. Maybe let's, let's make another one, no? So, Solve natin. Uh, tanggalin ko ito. Gawa tayo ng... Gawa tayo ng... On the spot ko pong sinosolve ito. Kaya, bear with me. Uh, this is a way if... Ginagawa ko on the spot, I think mas, mas better kasi yung pre-made na video. So, let's make a... Uh, Punnett square na... Ano ba yun? Tama ba ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, ito. Ganito na lang. Alright, so ito yung panic square natin. Tanggalin ko lang yung kulay. Gawin natin simple. Gawin natin ganito lang. So, dito yung isang parent natin. Uh, I'll just shade this one with something else. I think blue. Oh. Tapos, let's shade this one with something else also. Para malaman natin na dito natin lalagay yung mga parents. Alright, so this is a dihybrid cross. No? And this is now what you call your 16 uh, Punnett square. Actually, ito lang yung habol natin. Kasi ito, 16. 4 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yung dati, 2 by 2 yun. So, alam nyo na yung mga kanon. Makakarelate kayo pag 4 by 4 at 2 by 2. Especially mga boys. Alright? So, let's assume na lang, nalagay natin si parent 1 dito. Parent 1. No? Yung nasolve natin sa nasolve natin sa tawag dito. Ini. Na-solve natin sa foil method natin. Tapos dito lagyan natin si parent 2. So be mindful na puntahan natin ulit, no? With the solving that we have, we we have now what you call this one, no? So capital y, P, capital Y, small uh, capital P, small Y, small P, capital Y and those stuff. So ito no? Which is now the the result of the foil method of the parent one. Ilagay natin dito sa blue part. So para mas kan ito. All right. Capital P capital Y. Ano yung isa? Capital P small y, small p capital Y. Tapos ano yung dulo? Kalimutan ko. Wait lang. Balikan natin. Ito, ito capital ah, small p small y. So Ito po lahat nilagay ko po dito sa blue. Na? So small p small y. 
Yan. Tapos, the same din gagawin natin. No? Sa second parent, itong resulta na ito nandito, which is a capital P small y, lahat naman yung apat na yun, isulat natin dito si yellow part. So, yung size nito, 44. Alright, tapos, gawin natin 44 to. Alright, so we have a capital P small y, capital P small y, capital P small y, capital P small y. Now, dito na medyo madugo. Pag nag-test cross kayo, dapat magkakasama muna yung mga pagkaparehas na letter. So, ang gagawin natin dito, we have here capital P and capital P. So, sulat na, ay, wait lang. Sulat natin ito ng 5. Natin itong 40 para hindi masyadong malaki. Alright. So, magkakaparehas muna ng letter. Cross natin. So, we have here capital P and capital P here. So, we have your capital P, capital P. Then, the next letter would be your capital Y and small y. Andito. So, you have now y and small y. Ganun lang. No? I hope that you get the point. You have a capital P and capital P here. So, capital P and P. Tapos, small y and small y here. So, small y and small y. This one, you have your small p and your capital P. Then again, mauna yung capital. Capital, small. Tapos, capital y. Ah, sorry. You have your cap capital y here. Eh, so, mama si letter P. At saka si capital Y here. So, capital Y, small y. Dito naman, you have your capital P and small p. So, capital and small p. Tapos, small y and small y doon. So, small y and small y. Ganun lang siya. So, ang gagawin ko, bibilisan ko na lang po. Pero ganun yung point niya. So, ito naman dito, capital P and, and small, uh, capital P. So, ganun lang siya. No? So, anong gagawin natin? Capital P, capital P, capital Y, small Y, capital P, capital P, Y, Y. Actually, kung makita natin, ang mga ito, parehas lang din dito. Kasi ito magkakaparehas eh. Tapos, capital P, small P, Y, capital Y, small Y. Capital P, small P, small Y, small Y. Capital P, capital P, capital Y, small Y. Capital P, capital P, small y, small y, capital P, small p, capital y, small y, capital P, small p, and small y, small y. Eh, sorry. Bakit hindi lumabas si P doon? Yan. And you have your capital P, capital P, capital y, and small y. Capital P, capital P, small y, small y, capital P, small p, capital y, small y, and capital P, small p, Y and Y. Yan. Natapos na natin yung 16. Kaya, madali lang yung part ng uh, pag-solve ng Punnett Square. Ang madugo dito, paano natin ngayon interpret Sa sa, ap, sa 2 by 2 pa lang, yung apat pa lang ng monohybrid cross, eh, medyo mga ngamuti na tayo doon. Dito pa sa 16. Pero let's try to do this one no? uh, pakonti ng pakonti. No? I just make this one slowly. So dito, malalaman natin na ginawa ni Kuiper, ito na yung resulta, which is actually the same as the one that we did here. No? Ito na yung resulta. <coughs> oh, ito na yung resulta. So, malalaman natin, when you talk about your genotype result, meron tayong capital and small a capital P and capital P, capital Y and small y, ito yun siya, ilan sila? So, try mong i-count kung ilan yung magkakaparehas. Alam natin na ito, 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 and ito, apat sila. So, we have 4 is to 16 or 4 out of the 16 of everything. No? 4 out of 16, sila yun. Oh. Kasi, apat sila, tapos i-count mo lahat itong lahat ng back 16. Tapos, tanong naman, meron din tayong capital P, capital P, small y, and small y, which is actually this one. So, this one yung nasa taas, try mo i-count kung magkakapareha sila. We know that this one here is the same as this one, is the same as this one, and the same as that one. And there's no other same na pareha makikita mo dito. So, we can say again that there is 4 out of 16. Hmm? Tapos, the rest goes. No, alam natin na ito, makaparehas itong apat na dito pababa. So, parehas sila, 4 out of 16. And this one here, parehas silang pakababa. So, 4 out of 16. Or pwede natin isulat kung ako naman yan in terms of yung tinuro ko, ratio, 4 is to 16. It's okay. No? Tapos ilagay nyo kung ano yan. P, uh, kung ba? Ganon. Alright. Sorry. Ganon. 
So, pwede. No? Example lang ito. So, if you don't write it in uh, using a slash, it's not wrong to make a use also a colon. Alright? It's just that way. So, yun. Answer na natin yung genotype results. Ito yung genotype results natin. No? But this time, let's try to identify ngayon yung phenotype. Ang nandito kay uh, Kuiper, ginat, ginanito lang nila agad. Actually, hindi mo siya maiin tindihan. Alright? Patpuntahan natin, isa-isahin natin ito. So, paliitin na lang natin. So, let's make another one. No? Let's make another slide for this one. However, I'll edit this one into a smaller smaller font para malagay natin yung interpretation. Alright? So, interpretation natin. Ngayon, interpret natin yung phenotype. Pheno. Alright? Malalaman natin na capital P and capital P will tell you that it's a purple flower. So, purple flower. Tapos, ano yung Y, capital Y and small y? That will tell you that it's a yellow seed. Alright? Yan po yung kwan. Yan po yung interpretation na natin each one. At gagawin natin yan sa lahat ng 16. So, in this case, <coughs> dalawa. Ne. Bakit nagbago ka? Capital ka. Alright? So, yan, no? Capital P and capital P will tell you that it's a purple flower. Purple flower. And small y and small y will tell you that since y is the dominant one, a small letter y with two will tell you that's a pure green seed. Yan. Dito naman, no, oh, interpret natin. We have a capital P and small p. Since merong dominant na capital letter dyan, it will tell you that it's a purple flower. Now, the capital Y and the small y will tell you that it's a capital Y. May capital Y. May yellow. Yellow seed. And we have also here, you have a capital P and a small p will tell you that it's a purple flower again. Mm, purple flower, tapos, the small y and small y will tell you that it's a green seed. Right? Actually, since itong nasa taas is pare-pareha sila pababa, ay copy-paste ko na lang ito. Right, so, yan. Hindi hmm. na siya kasya. Right, don't worry. Ah, uh, nagpabago siya. Auto-correct. Ito. And this one. So, um, this one capital again kasi kinokorek ni... Iyusin natin ito. Ah, ang kate ng ilong ko. Always have this dilemma every morning. And this one. I hope na makita nyo pa sa screen. And there. There. Alright? So, ito na po yung interpretation natin lahat. Para kumasya. Alright, ito yung interpretation natin lahat. So, you have purple flower, yellow seed, purple flower, green seed, purple flower, yellow seed, and purple flower, green seed. So, anong gaga gagawin natin? No? Ano bang tanong doon sa problem na yon? Ano ba sabi dito? So, natapos na tayo dito sa tanong na to. What are the genotype combinations? So, meron natin, meron tayong capital P and capital P with small, capital Y and small Y. We have 4 out of 16. Yun na yung genotype combination. However, the second problem will tell you what are the possible flower and seed color phenotype of the offspring. Ito yung gagawin natin ngayon. Sa so, ano bang merong mga combinations ditong ginawa natin, the result? So, puntahan muna natin yung first. Meron dito purple. Alright? Purple and purple flower and yellow seed. So, i-color combination na lang natin ito. No, kaya pwedeng kulay dito na pang-highlight. Uh, shading na lang natin. So, anong magandang kulay ito? Purple daw. Purple, flower, and yellow seed. Alright? So, i-shade natin ito para hindi nakakalito sa pagpanood nyo, no? 
Right, so ito. Yan. So alam natin na ito, magkakapareha sila pababa kasi sabi ko nga pareha sila ng genotype. So pagkakaparehas na purple flower yellow seed. So shade natin 'yan. Right? Tapos tingnan din natin. Meron ka pa, meron pa bang ibang uh, purple flower na yellow seed dito? Alright, right, ito sabi dito purple flower green seed. So hindi pwede. And lahat sila ma eh hey, bakit bakit yellow ito? Green. Sorry. Green. This green. Sorry, cor correction ito. Eratum. Green, alright? So, yan. So, sabi dito, purple flower, green seed, purple flower, green seed, magkakaparehas ito pababa, so hindi sila kaparehas. Ito sabi dito, purple flower, yellow seed, which is actually also the same as this one. And we know that this one here is the same as this one. So, malalaman, makikita na, uy, parehas pala yung andito na first at saka itong pang third dito na line pababa. Ano? So, color code natin. Ito ba yung kulay? I know, it's a light, lighter one. Eh, dapat parehas natin. Alright, this one. Hindi din. Hindi na amit kong kulay dun. Alright, ito. Ni. Kasela. Ah. Ah, ito. Parehas sila. Ah, ito. So, makita natin na this one's here ay magkaparehas sila dito. So, paano natin masasabi yung uh, resulta natin dito? No? In terms of the phenotype. Malalaman natin, na, i-count muna natin. No? Count natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Walo po na merong purple flower, yellow seed combination na chance na magkakaanak dito. Itong mga parents na ito. So, ilan? Walo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 out of what? Ilan ba lahat? Lahat nito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that will tell you that it's 8 out of 16 na merong chance na magkaanak sila ng purple flower, yellow seed. Kaya po, andito, sinulat na po ni Kuiper yung answer. no? So purple flower with yellow seed, 8 out of 16, which is actually itong green na andito. Let's try to see also another combination. It says here, meron tayong purple flower and green seed. And we know that this ones here are the same as going down here. So, color combination natin yung purple flower, green seed. Alright, shading natin ng maganda para... Pangit si red. Pwede kaya si red? Ah, si red na lang. Para bloody red. Alright. So, andito natin, makita natin na purple flower, green seed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pero also, you get to see that in this combination right here, though they don't have the same genotype, their phenotype all actually shares the same result. That it says here also, purple flower and green seed. So, parehas sila. Parehas itong pababa dito. Ikulayan natin kasi magkapareha sila. Be mindful, no? Magkakaiba po ng genotype sila dito compared to this one. But they have the same phenotype of purple flower and yellow seed. The same goes also to this one that the genotype here is not the same as the one here. But then again, the phenotype is actually the same. No Purple flower, green seed. So ilan ba yung purple flower, green seed? Meron to tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At ilan sila lahat? This is 16. That's the reason why here the result would be... No, 8 out of 16, purple flower with green seed, which is actually the red ones here. So, yan na po yung pag-a-answer natin sa mga problem na ito. Kaya medyo komplikado siya pag hindi nyo pinanood itong video and hindi nyo masyadong ma-appreciate. So, andito po na yung tatlong laws no? we already have done. This is in a separate video, the law of dominance. However, in this video, we talked about your law of segregation and law of independent assortment. This is actually already the explanation of your dihybrid cross or combining of two different traits. And tra They are separated later on. No? And also, being segregated later on no? as we go to the results and try to solve the results. Let's try to see the... Check your understanding. Identify what is described in this one. So, identification ito. 
try natin dito. Actually, this one is also the one there. No? What are the possible applications of Mendelian inheritance or Mendelian genetic patterns in predicting possible genetic disorders in human? Let's say, for example, if... No, meron kasi mga sakit na mga genetically uh, linked. No? Let's say, for example, sinasabi nila na yung pagiging high blood, pag may high blood sa pamilya nyo, eh, may chance na makuha na din yung high blood nung, nung anak. No? So, ilang chance pwedeng makuha ng anak yung, high, yung, 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 yung sakit na yon is actually trying to see and solve that one through a dihybrid cross or a monohybrid cross or simply your planet square. So, andito po sa challenge yourself. No? So, ito na po yung explanation. So, I'll be making another one of, I don't know how I'm going to do this one no? in your uh, activity. Pero ngayon, yung 4 pa lang na ginawa kong 4 box panet square is medyo mahirap na. Ito pa kayang 16 box panet square. And makita natin, no, 16 din yung i-interpret natin. I mean, san hindi, masya, hindi all the time na magkakaparehas yung ito at saka ito at saka yung first and yung third. Oh, ito madali lang gawin yung ratio. However, meron times na talagang magkakaiba-iba yung andito, andyan, andito, andito, magkakaiba pababa. Magkakaiba din sila pa, pahalang at patsukwa, no? Pababa. So, paano? Basta i-count nyo lang, no? That's actually how you do it. So, ito na po yung dihybrid cross by trying to cross two different traits of the parents, no? So, here in this case, we talk about your your uh, purple fl uh, your col flower color and your seed color. So, pwede din, baka sa, sa activity na gagawin ko later on, uh, I'm talking about height, mat pandak at matangkad, at skin color, maputi at maitim. So, ganun. Try natin i-cross natin yan. So, try to watch this video first before you're going to attempt to answer those activities. Alright? So, just be mindful that, be reminded that this is the second to the last lesson. So, I'll be scheduling either on Sunday or on Monday or early by next week the the last segment of the fourth quarter lesson and after that one is already your completion period for those who are always online try to at least no inut inut na ansiren ito no until such time na matapos no you have 12 topics so be reminded if you have done the, all the 12 topics no so this is the 11th one the next the, the 12th one will be still be coming so yun so try to finish this one for those uh Walang chance na magka-internet. Um, meron pa kayong panahon para try nyo i-discarte at at least maansiran yung mga ito. Kasi then again, wala naman na akong ipapa-submit uh, sa inyo. Ito lang yung gusto kong matapos yung lahat ng activity sa Kuiper. So once again, I'm not going to hold you long for this one. I hope that you still, uh, you at some point understood this uh, solving of the, the hybrid cross. If you have problems or, encounter, or something that you don't understand, um, uh, private message me through Kuiper or through uh, Facebook. Uh, in that case, I can. I am willing to help you know for you to be able to understand more about this one. So without further much ado, thank you once again and good afternoon.